engineer in New Jersey first noticed some weird interference when he was working on his antenna in 1928. In contrast to other sources that disrupted phone connections, this signal came from an unnamed source. The origin was unclear, but after months of investigation, Karl Jansky located its origin in 1931. The Milky Way galaxy's core, in the direction of the constellation Sagittarius, was the location of the source. Scientists were completely unaware of what he had found, and of the dangers it would provide to humanity in the future. What was it, and is there any cause for concern? Keep watching to know more about this breathtaking discovery. Sagittarius, the Milky Way galaxy's greatest constellation, lies in the center of the galaxy, at the densest point. The Sagittarius A radio source is a prominent radio source located inside the constellation. Scientists have been watching the radio waves from the source for over a century. In February 1974, Astronomers Robert L. Brown recognized it. Nevertheless, it wasn't until the 1980s that they theorized it was a black hole. Not just any black hole, but one that is at the galaxy's center four million times as massive as our Sun. Massive stars that have stopped fusing their nuclear fuel become black holes because they can no longer withstand gravitational collapse. Black holes are among the most intriguing and enigmatic things in the cosmos. A black hole is a location in space where gravity is so intense that not even light, the fastest known thing in the universe, can escape. The event horizon, a point of no return that is genuinely invisible to us, marks the edge of a black hole. A black hole singularity is a point in space-time that is infinitely tiny and dense, and when something passes into it, the rules of physics no longer hold sway. The most prevalent black holes, according to scientific theories, are stellar and supermassive black holes. Stellar black holes are created when huge stars collide and die. They are dispersed across the cosmos and have masses between 10 and 20 times that of our Sun. These black holes may number in the millions, only in the Milky Way. In comparison, supermassive black holes are enormous, being millions or even billions of times more massive than our Sun. We are aware that they are located near the galactic center of almost every massive galaxy, including our own. However, since no stars are large enough to directly collide with a black hole, it is unknown how supermassive black holes like Sagittarius A develop. The event horizon of a black hole determines its size. It is the distance from the black hole's center beyond which nothing can exist. Scientists have calculated that the diameter of Sagittarius A is 16 million miles, or 26 million kilometers. When two galaxies merged to form the Milky Way, it most likely came about as a result of the merging of two black holes. It is famously difficult to find black holes. Typically, the only way to determine one's presence is to observe the impacts it has on their environment. But it doesn't end there. Sagittarius A is obscured by a stationary interferon screen, making it considerably more difficult to see from Earth. However, there are a few more methods that scientists might use to learn more about supermassive black holes. Thanks to these developments, we can now observe this enormous black hole and learn a lot more about it. Scientists revealed our first glimpse of Sagittarius A as a spectacular image on May the 12th, 2022. What you are witnessing right now is a long-awaited glimpse of the enormous object at our galactic center by the Event Horizon Telescope, or EHT, as NASA calls it. More than 300 astronomers, hundreds of engineers, and support staff from 60 universities in 20 countries and regions analyzed data from the Very Large Arrays study of Sagittarius A in 2017. 
The Earth-sized telescope joins 11 telescopes from different parts of the planet to create a single telescope with a mirror the size of the Earth. The EHT, employing radio frequency detection, illustrates Sagittarius A. On many evenings, the EHT monitored Sagittarius A and gathered information constantly for several hours, similar to taking a long exposure photograph. Because it is 27,000 light years from us, it seems to be around the same size in the sky as a donut on the moon. Now, you're probably wondering how the EHT managed to catch a black hole in such vivid colors. Black holes are completely black because nothing, not even light, can escape their gravitational attraction. Well, black holes are surrounded by gas clouds, which astronomers can measure to create photographs of the black holes within. This image was made by observing the light released by hot matter speeding towards the center of Sagittarius A. Researchers can successfully visualize the black hole's shadow using this technique. A dark shadow is cast by the black hole on the gas at the image center. The sparkling ring is produced by the gas itself, which is glowing. The ring's brilliant areas are hotter gas regions that might one day combine with a black hole. Part of the gas shown in the image is hidden by Sagittarius A. The direction of the light coming from that gas and our planet is being bent by the black hole's powerful gravitational pull. The gravitational lensing effect is a basic prediction of general relativity. Now that the EHT data have been thoroughly examined, several aspects of theoretical and computational models that explain how the glowing ring is produced have been confirmed. EHT project scientist Jeffrey Bauer of the Institute of Astronomy and Astrophysics, Academia Sinica, Taipei, stated, We were startled by how completely the size of the ring corresponded with expectations from Einstein's theory of general relativity. These groundbreaking findings have significantly increased our understanding of what occurs at the galactic center and have revealed fresh information about how these enormous black holes interact with their environment. It has been possible to photograph black holes before. The EHT cooperation released the first photograph of the M87 black hole after making this discovery. This 2019 image is of near the center of the further off Messier 87 galaxy. Despite being 7 billion times the mass of the Sun and 2,000 times larger than Sagittarius A, the galaxy's black hole has a surprisingly human appearance. Astronomers now have the opportunity to compare two black holes to learn more about the cosmos because of the Event Horizon Telescope's ability to study both of them at a similar resolution. Despite being far closer to our solar system than M87, Sagittarius A proved more challenging to photograph. The innermost solar orbit of Mercury would contain Sagittarius A, which has a diameter of nearly 17 times that of our Sun. On the other hand, M87's diameter would cover the entire solar system. According to radio astronomer Lindsay Blackburn of the Harvard-Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics, Sagittarius A's lower physical size also implies that everything changes around 1,000 times more quickly for Sagittarius A than for M87. To see Sagittarius A, we must also look through the chaotic disk of our galaxy, which distorts and blurs the image. Both black hole photographs seem fuzzy because acquiring them pushes the telescope's capacity to the limit. The MIT Haystack Observatory astronomer Vincent Fish stated, the team aims to ultimately collect film of the mid-7 black hole. Appropriately, according to the adage, a picture is worth a thousand words, this new image has already inspired 10 academic publications. The fact that the gas encircling Sagittarius A is traveling almost as fast as light opens up an interesting line of investigation. Matter enters Sagittarius A rather slowly because it is very tiny. We still don't fully understand black holes in many ways. What we do know is that almost every big galaxy that has been found thus far contains a supermassive black hole at its core. It's not clear, however, whether galaxies originated around black hole cores or if their centers have collapsed into black holes. 
Supermassive black holes are still, in most ways, a complete mystery. Once black holes were just a theory, now we know they're real, and it is worth being aware of a widespread fallacy that black holes pull all matter in. Instead, they just pull anything that approaches close to their gravitational field. Thus, even if a black hole took the place of our Sun, Earth's orbit would still be secure and stable. The accretion ring that surrounds a black hole progressively fills it with gas, dust or material that has been ripped from neighbouring stars, when the matter being accreted has enough rotational or angular momentum to prevent it from falling inward into the accretor in a straight line. When this occurs, a region known as an active galactic nucleus, or AGN, is created by turbulent circumstances. To be eaten, a star or other object would have to almost strike Sagittarius A directly. What do you think of the pictures of Sagittarius A? Please share your thoughts in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video then please do give it a like and subscribe to the channel and don't forget to click on the notification icon to keep up to date with all the new activity on the channel. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.